Hi guys, it's Erin from ErinHuggins.com and in today's video we're going to talk about why you feel paralyzed in your life. Why you feel stuck and why you have so much fear about moving forward. All right, you guys, so let's tackle this lighthearted and fuzzy subject called fear. I have totally experienced paralyzing fear in my life, and I've been on the other side of it where I feel free to move about the world just who I am. And so I want to support you in getting to that place where you feel free. Everybody feels fear at some point in their life. And the more you focus on the fear, the longer you focus your energy on that feeling of being paralyzed, on the feeling of being stuck, on the feeling of fear, the longer it is you're going to be in that space. <laughs> and speaking of being stuck, Otis is in his little jump jumper bouncer seat here and he feels stuck and he wants to get out. So I'm going to bring him out and we're just going to continue shooting the video, okay? Somebody says, Mommy, I want to be in the video too. Right? Right, bud? Okay. And the reason why most people stay there is because they are in what's called compare and despair. And this is when you are chronically comparing your progress, comparing yourself to other people. And so if you're going to be in the space of chronically comparing yourself to someone else, you're never going to feel good enough. You're never going to feel like you are worthy of moving out of this space of fear into the space of freedom. So the first thing you need to do is to stop comparing yourself to other people because there is no one on planet Earth like you. So it's completely pointless. It's pointless and it serves no purpose whatsoever for you to compare yourself to someone else because everyone has a different upbringing. Everyone has a different background. Everyone has a different education. Everyone has a different perspective and who you are designed to serve in life, your purpose is completely different from my purpose, baby Otis's purpose, and anybody else's. For you to compare yourself to someone else and get in this place of being paralyzed means that you're never ever going to fully step into your full potential as a person. So. Step one, stop comparing yourself to other people. It's just keeping you stuck, okay? Believe that you are here for a reason and that you are, your desires are just as worthy as the next person's. So number two, bring the fear with you. Bring it with you, bring it with you. Take it along for the ride, okay? And I promise you, Whatever it is you're afraid to step into, if you say, screw it, I'm doing it anyway, bring in the fear along for the ride, that the fear actually begins to dissolve. I hope that you're picking up on a word that I continue to use over and over and over and over again. Feeling. Okay, feeling is the magic word. Now, to get out of fear and into freedom, woo, freedom! You have to experience the feeling of freedom. So it's experiential. Moving out of fear and into freedom is experiential. It means you have to trust that when you take a step forward that you will be taken care of. So you have to be able to, in any way, shape, or form, I guess this is point three, to conjure up feeling confident, feeling good, feeling motivated, feeling proud. So look at your life right now. Look at the areas in your life right now where you feel really good about yourself and start to associate those good positive feelings with that place in your life where you're feeling stuck. And the more you do that, the more you can 
create that bond between that place in your life where you feel fear and um, areas in your life where you've broke, broken free from that feeling, the easier it will be for you to move forward in that place where you are stuck. I hope that made sense. And you're not anchored towards those, those fear feelings anymore. Right? Right? So, just like a baby who is learning how to walk, doesn't know how to walk, they have to trust that they will be okay and that they will be supported. The universe has your back, okay? You have to give the universe a reason to catch you by taking the first step, okay? Much love, you guys. I would love to hear from you. <laughs> Notice this. he's done. He's done shooting the video. So I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below and let me know an area in your life where you have overcome some fear like the video, share it with your friends, and if you're new, subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Can you see yourself?